I'm Dale Mathis, and today I'm coming to you from my home studio in Sun City, Arizona. And this tune, the Red River Valley, I am presenting this version of it today as at, uh, what did I say, Lesson 26 Solo. And what this is all about is presenting more key signatures for you to play in. So way back at Lesson 18, I presented this tune in the keys of D and A, uh, so sharp key signatures. Well, today we're going to have three more key signatures. We're going to play in F sharp and G and A flat. So this is a chromatic ascending song. So first everything is in the key of F sharp. And then everything moves up to G. And then everything moves up to A flat. And this is a common technique that is used in a lot of songs where you'll start off in one key and then go to a half step uh, higher. And uh, it can present some very interesting challenges because if you're comfortable in one key and you've got to go up to the next half step, um, you've got a lot of flats and sharps that you may possibly have to exchange in one key or the other. So in the key of F sharp, you're likely to run across that if you play with a lot of guitar players. Because what happens in the key of E, which is a very common guitar um, uh, songs, uh, because the key of E is a lot of open strings for guitar players. So an E chord on the guitar is very easy to play. And you know, sometimes a guitar player can't uh, sing in that key. Often guitar players are also singers. And so they may use a capo, you know, that's that little bar that goes across the neck and uh, clamps down all the strings. And they may capo up either one uh, fret, which puts them into the key of F, or two frets, which puts you into the key of F sharp, as far as those easy chords. So this version of the uh, song today starts out in the key of F sharp. And so for F sharp, your three dominant chords, you know, three chord songs, there's thousands of them. And uh, so we're going to have F sharp and C sharp and B. So where are these? So let's take a look here. This is on my Roland accordion. It's the model FR4X. So uh, right here, this is the E bass, and that has a marker in it. And often your accordion will have a marker in that E bass. So just to give you a reference, here's C, and then B or G, and then D, and then A, and then here's E. Well, the one above that is B. We're going to need that for this song. And the one above that is F sharp. So our chords go F sharp, and then C sharp, which is above that, and then back down to F sharp. And then there will be an, a B uh, key chord. And then it jumps to a C sharp and ends up on F sharp. And then when you go to the uh, middle section of the song, then it jumps down to the key of G and then D chord. And C is your other chord. And back to uh, D or G rather. G. Yeah, ends on G. And then that final uh, uh, chords in the key of A flat. So there, you know, let's put my camera down a little bit more. Um, there, here we have C, F, B flat, E flat, and A flat. And again, you're going to find a marker on that. Uh, it should be an indent on most accordions, not every accordion. But uh, on most accordions, you'll have an indent on that A flat. And so the chords are A flat, and then E flat, going back to A flat, and E flat, A flat, and then down to a D flat, which is one more lower, 
up to an E flat, and then A flat. And then also, the other thing that I did for this piece of sheet music, you need to go to mycrownmusic.net and uh, then click on the free lessons uh, header up on the upper right hand corner and then uh, the drop down menu because we want uh, lesson 26 for this solo. And I printed out this sheet music in a unique way. In the first page you will see that I printed everything theoretically in the key of C but I put in all the accidentals so every sharp, every flat, every natural sign that you would need, that's the first page. The second page, I wrote out the right key signatures. So when we have the key of F sharp, I'm just looking at my um, uh, piece of sheet music here. We've got the order of sharps, F, C, G, D, uh, A, and then E. And the saying that I used when I was taught accordion way back when, the, to remember the order of sharps, it was Francis, Catherine, go down and eat breakfast. <laughs> How about that? Francis, Catherine, go down and eat breakfast. So that's the order of sharps as far as um, when you have, uh, you know, different keys and adding uh, what... Uh, um, how many sharps you can have. They're always in that order. And to figure out the name of the key uh, from the last sharp, you just go up a half step. So if you've got just one sharp, which is F sharp, if you go up a half step from that F sharp, you're in the key of G. All right, so anyhow, that was uh, the sharps are all written out, and then I uh, transposed everything into the key of G, which you're going to have just one sharp, F sharp. And then the final section uh, is in the key of A flat. And uh, there you're going to have four flats in that key signature. And how I always remember that one is spell the word bead, B-E-A-D, and then just add G-C-F after it, and that gives you the order of flats. So there you go. All right, so again, uh, this is kind of a challenge uh, piece for anybody uh, who plays the accordion because you don't often play in the key of uh, F-sharp. Um, a flat, you know, if you're playing with saxophones and clarinets, uh, that's a more common key, but F sharp is a little more difficult. So anyhow, this is a good challenge piece because uh, in that key of F sharp, almost everything you play is going to be a black key. So print it out and uh, see if you can challenge yourself, get that gray matter working. <laughs> there you go. All right, so thank you so much for watching today. Again, the sheet music is at mycronmusic.net and you want to download uh, Lesson 26 solo. It's the uh, Red River Valley in three keys. And please like my videos, please subscribe to my channel, and we'll see you again next time.